guys, Tom from Classic Plastic here. Sorry I haven't put out a video for about two weeks, but with finals and everything, I really uh, got caught up with everything, so I was really busy. So sorry about that, but um, coming back to business, uh, today's the 24th. For Hispanic people, it's Christmas. You get open your gifts a day early is what you would think, but it really doesn't work like that. You basically wait till 10, 11, 12 o'clock, and then you go ahead and open your presents. So technically, you still open it on the 25th. It's just that we just do a 24-hour run. So right now, it is currently 1.41 in the morning, but you know, since I was so excited and I really want to get this video out by Sunday, um, I'm doing a review now. So this is what I just got for Christmas. This is the Nintendo 3DS special edition with the Super Nintendo with the Super Mario 3D Land. Um, this 3DS comes in flame red, and it also brings a copy of uh, Mario 3D Land, which just came out uh, maybe about a month ago. Um, so this bundle uh, was released in November, I believe, or late December. And like I said, it brings a flame red uh, 3DS and your copy of Mario. So let's see, let's see the packaging. All right, so you have your box. You know, it's a nice, heavy, bulky box. So um, believe me, it's already opened. I just haven't fiddled around with it. Uh, but this thing is glued to hell. I mean grab a knife or a jackhammer and go to work so once you get through that uh, you get this nice little scenery right here of what the game will look like it kinda looks like the retro Mario that's on the Wii um, some warnings and of course your little double screen emblem so once you open it you have the surprise of finding a Super Mario 3D Land uh, copy in here and it's just like a copy that you would buy at your store um, and of course you can open it up you get a big Mario face in there and uh, some goodies uh, you also have Super Mario 3D Land and what I think is funny with the 3DS games is that the only difference I see between a regular DS game and a 3DS game is this little lip right here. And if I don't know if you remember, but with the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo 64, all that differentiated the, let's say, the Japanese version um, game from the Super Nintendo version was the shape of the cartridge, or maybe like a little lip sticking out. So. Um, I think it's really funny how they did this. It kind of uh, reminds you of the old days when region lock wasn't really a problem. So you get this, it's awesome. So you move this flap, now you know you're, you got to the good stuff. It, you get one box, you can put that aside, and now you got the second box. Now you're really in for the treat. So it's nice and elegant white box. It's nice and clean, Nintendo 3DS with the little emblem right there. So uh, you got these two little seals, just pop those off and then open it up. And now you're inside the box of your new 3DS. All right, so you're inside the box of your new 3DS. First thing you see is this big hunk of literature just sitting in right on top of your 3DS getting in between your Super Mario 3D Land action and um, your brand new Flame Red 3DS so uh, let's just take a quick look at what this has it brings a couple of uh, things so it has the R Games Arcade uh, this is basically where you can download um, video games and I guess DLC kind of like the Xbox Live uh, store so you have your quick start guide it's nice non-cluttered in color uh, and of course it tells you it brings a 3DS system a charging cradle or dock you got your AC adapter and a stylus so that's pretty nice 
and it also takes an SD card. Um, so that's pretty nice, and it kind of folds out like a poster. Um, I would I would have gone the easy route and done a book, but whatever. You get a second guide in, I guess this is French, I'm not sure. Excuse me if I get the language wrong. Um, so you get a whole nother one in a different language. And then of course you get one in Spanish. Same thing, except text is in Spanish. I don't know why they gave me three different guides, but uh, I don't know. So we'll put those aside. And of course, now you have your operation manual. So, you know, I've had a lot of systems, and this has to be one of the thickest manuals I've ran into. Um, it's probably just a lot of legal jargon, you know, telling you not to play the 3DS mode for too long. Oh, I saw a little cartoon there. Yep, play in a well-lit area. Alright, so... It has some pretty useful things, especially if you're a parent and you want to put some parental control on your 3DS. I would definitely go through this um, and uh, read through it. I know you can do a parental lock on the 3D um, aspect of the video game. So if your child, I think, is under 8 years old, you can block him from doing that. Because I think I did read on one of my other games, which I got fairly cheap, Super Street Fighter. Um, I think it says right there, viewing 3D images by children 6 and under may cause vision damage. So yeah, you can do parental uh, locks and set your parental settings so your child doesn't get their vision completely shot just by trying to beat Bison on a Street Fighter. So I'll do a review on this game later on. So you have your Club Nintendo, receive a free extended warranty and earn exclusive rewards. That actually sounds pretty good. Am I really going to do it? I'm not sure. Um, it all depends if I remember. And then of course, Nintendo Power. How can you go wrong with, with Nintendo Power? This thing is awesome. I'm actually going to sign up for it. Screw the other magazines. I can't really say names, but... Nintendo Power has a lot of goodies and things like that. It's not like the old one anymore, but I mean, it's still pretty awesome. I like it. Um, so, it's empty. You know, take this tray out. And now you're at the good stuff. So, you have your AC adapter. It, you know, the little prongs stick out. It's gray, so it helps me differentiate from my other DS and uh, my SP, which I think is awesome. But this has a different connector, as you can see there. Um, so it's really not backwards compatible for your other Game Boys. It has a nice, nice chunk of cord there, so I guess if you're at home and you want to play it, still plugged into the wall. I don't really recommend it, but if you do want to do it, uh, you, you got a nice, uh, chunk of cord to do that and then uh, because I read the manual this says this is the charging dock or the charging cradle as they call it and that's actually a really good feature because um, I'll show you one of the flaws on the 3DS it's not a big one but it is one and I'll show you why they included this but this is awesome you know Nintendo 3DS put your charger there just sit it there and uh, it's cradled like a baby. Really no complaint there. But that's awesome. I'm really happy they um, included this. Normally you have to pay extra. So this is awesome. Now, for the grand finale. This is what you've been waiting for. And, well, this is what I've been waiting for. The 3DS has been out for a while. But I just never got one until um, now. So sorry for the delay. But... This is the Flame Red Nintendo 3DS. As you can see, it has a very nice gloss to it. It has the two cameras right here. Um, so that's, that enables it to take 3D pictures. So you can definitely display 3D images. And I think that might be a flash, if I'm not mistaken. But 
Uh, it looks very clean. They really tidied up the, the design from the first DS. Um, up here, it's really glossy. It kind of mirrors. Um, you can see the camera there. Uh, the back, it's not mirrored, but it still is very glossy. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's like uh, little glitter things. But because it's very glossy, as you can see, you can start seeing the fingerprints I've been leaving on it. Um, so it's awesome. It's very compact, actually, which is a good thing. Um, let me go grab a regular DS.